Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Retail and our patch 9.2 Eternity's End Story Campaign playthrough. Let's talk to Bolvar and see what he has for us this week. We will face whatever comes. Monumental Discovery. Mawwalker Pelago stopped by earlier to give a report and said that the Oracle's preparations were complete and you were urgently needed. If this is something that can help our efforts, I want you involved. Head to the Exile's Hollow and see what they need. We do whatever you can to aid the Oracle. All right, let's jump a teleporter over. And we'll see what's going on. I hope you guys are all doing well today. And thank you so much for joining me here in Azeroth. Well, we're not in Azeroth. I guess we are technically in the Shadowlands or some part of it. Exile's Hollow, here we go. I keep hoping that the epilogue chapter will have some kind of twist in it to kind of redeem the ending cinematic of the raid. I feel like that can't be all that there is. There's so many unanswered questions. You're certain that this is possible. And so many threads that are just kind of left hanging. This so close to Oh, hello. Are you guys done talking? Can we can we take the quest now? Mortal, I have monumental news. Caesura has indicated that preparations are complete. It is time to create a new arbiter. Without an arbiter, the very purpose of the Shadowlands has been compromised. Souls flood the mall with no direction. As Cezura noted, Xerath Mortis would ordinarily craft a new being to take the Arbiter's place. I suspect the Jailer's forces have disrupted the land to the point where this is no longer possible. It is time to take action ourselves, and bring stability again to the Shadowlands. Speak with Ceruza and see where we must begin. A new Arbiter? To think I will observe something of this magnitude. How do we help Xerath Mortis create a new Arbiter? of the Eternal, but that area is overrun by Mossworn. How are we to get past them on our own? We are not alone, Pelagos. Surely the Covenants will aid us toward the creation of a new Arbiter. All right, I never know when they're done RPing. The Covenants are certain to send aid if we ask. If we stand any chance of breaking through the Maul Sworn forces, we will need the help of all of the Covenants. I will speak with Kyrian. You and Pelagos can speak with the others. But before you go, ask Fareem if there is any way we can gain the support of the Enlightened as well. I will rally the Kyrian. You and Pelagos speak to the other Covenants. Yeah, you said that. See if Fareem we read that. We read that in the quest. Please stop doubling up your quest text and your voiceovers. You are interrupting my research. Can we get additional aid from the Enlightened? Leave me to my thoughts. I doubt my compatriots in heaven would dare tread on such hallowed ground. But fear not. I, as always, have an idea. Kabato, we have need of your assistance. Kabato? Hmm. Perhaps you can awaken it, mortal. Ah, there you are. Meet us near the eternal cliffs, Kabato. It is time to fight back against the Morswan. Oh, 
All right, it looks like we're headed down to the south near the Catalyst Garden. So we'll take a teleport over to Haven and then we will run it from there. Turn the music up a little bit for you guys, as it's one of the best things about the zone. Uh, the look of it, the graphics, the the detail and aesthetic, and the music are really the only really great things about it. One day I will go through my bags and sell everything. That day may be like the day before 10.0 launches, though. It's nothing like emptying your bags out completely on the eve of a new expansion. That way you could pretty much be assured that you don't need anything anymore. Don't really have to worry so much about what you might be throwing out as far as materials and stuff like that. I really want to know more about the Devourers. I wish they would go into what they are, what their source is more, like they're supposed to be from the, the spaces in between, but that doesn't really tell you a whole lot in practice. This one just like insta dismounted us, like hit us one time, totally dismounted, all these guys still in range. Gotta love getting dismounted more than you do in classic. All right, we're working with more of the characters that we really don't care about. Perfect. Good to see you. I don't know why we can't work with Talia or Bolvar or Jaina or anybody who we care about. We have to work with these people. Let us hope your plan works. Revendreth needs anima, and for that, we need souls that deserve redemption. Yeah, I don't think anybody cares about that stuff anymore. Honestly. What are we doing now? We're just, we're running over here to get the Night Fae? Okay, well, okay, we're gonna do a run around quest. Are you guys gonna run the whole way, or are you gonna disappear? Looks like they're running it. Nadia has a point, but if you ask me, well, I think every soul deserves redemption. Together we are strong. The might of Ardenweald is yours, Maul Walker. We have always watched over the Great Cycle. I hope that this new Arbiter will do the same. So yeah, it looks like we are literally just going to go around and talk to a representative from all the Covenants. Great. To watch over the Great Cycle. The Arbiter's decisions affect more than just souls, but the Shadowlands entire. Alright, the uh, music just came to an abrupt cut there. That was probably one of the most jarring audio cuts I've ever heard in this game. Stand strong. Soldiers, you heard the Maul Walker. We march on the endless sand. Like, from not doing any of their Covenant campaigns, I barely remember who any of these people are from the core campaign. Because, you know, the core campaign was something that I did, uh, like over a year ago? So, I don't remember any of these little side characters from the Covenants, and therefore I couldn't really care less about them. 
I'm a little bit more familiar with the Kyrians, obviously, because I did some stuff for the Kyrians for the initial Covenant campaign. But the rest of these guys I don't care about, and I wish they would be fired out of the airlock. And I would really rather be doing quests with uh, Jaina, and Bane, and Thrall, and Talia, and you know, all the people from Azeroth who are here who Medics I have right. a relationship with. The Arbiter must have the strength and resolve to do what must be done. And then it must be weird for people who are not Kyrian with such a focus on Pelagos and Clea. That, you know, they don't know who those characters are because they haven't been in the Covenant and now they're pushed to the forefront of the story. Must be kind of weird. I think this could be useful. Come meet with me. Beneath these sands are ravenous worms. See if you can bait them out and turn them against the Morsworn. Talia is here for like a world quest? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, what are we trying to do for like the actual quest quest? Oh, we're talking to you. Between the strength of the Covenant forces and the help of the Atoma, we should be able to reach the crypts. At least we're going to hit that 70 or that 80 renown pretty soon here. My blades are at your Maw Walker! Heart. My scouts report that the Maw Sword have dominated two Atoma oracles to aid them in battle. These oracles will most certainly predict our strategy and our ultimate goal, if given the chance. We need to eliminate both oracles before we enter the crypts. With them out of the way, the Maw Sword and troops won't know what we're doing until we're finished with it. We follow the will. You oh, you guys got a bunch of crap for me to do. do we will see? prepare for the assault. Giants litter these lands, mortal, but I believe we can revitalize them. The smaller Atoma that are hiding in the desert can be utilized here. Use my motivator to rally them to our cause. If we can gather enough, their energy can replenish these defeated behemoths to bolster our forces. There is always more to the path is revealed to you. The song incomplete. Harmony is needed. Seek those who scry. Send them to serve the cycle. The design must. Endure. Okay, we got so much crap layered on top of crap here that it's going to be interesting to see if we Bring can figure out what we're supposed to, to do. Me. They can power the behemoths you see before you. Okay, that's not what we're doing here. What are we doing here? Irresi irresistible goop, motivated Atama, return to Farim. Oh, am I going to hate all of these quests and wish that I hadn't logged in today? I think so. I think, I think so. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I, I have really no idea exactly what we need to do here. I don't want to read the quest again to find out. So let's just run off into the fields and see what happens. Uh, let's hover over stuff. Here is something we can click on. And we need Tarachnids for the goop. Yeah, I have this tendency where like I can read the quest word for word and read it well, and then once I read it, it just kind of leaves my brain. I, I don't absorb any of the information from it. This is not working us towards an objective like on its own, so not really sure what that's about. Yeah, we're not getting any of the goop that was talked about. Can I only have two of these guys at a time? No, I have three. I, I just have no idea what in the hell I'm doing with them. We need six. Return them to Fareem, I suppose. Okay. Alright, let's, let's return with these, and maybe once we clear one of the quests off our map, it'll become more obvious what we're supposed to do besides this. Uh, I don't really know where Fareem's hanging out. Maybe he's over here with everybody else. Uh, maybe he's, maybe he's right with here. Enough, Atoma. 
We can vanquish the moss swarm. Okay, well, I think I got enough. Do you see the patterns? The hey, 80 start. renown, great. This plan will almost certainly succeed. Almost certainly. Six Atama Scryers rescued. Oracle of Aroxy slain. Um, okay. I still don't have whatever the hell this goop is, but I don't think we need it for what we're working on. I think it's a world quest. Yeah, it looks like it's a world quest uh, that we don't need. This is up. How is it up? Oh, good. Well, I got a hidden from here. Uh, we got a hidden. I don't know if that's gonna like... Yeah, we got credit for that somehow. Perfect. Perfect. I'll take it. Uh, we are going over here to slay Zoketh. So we're running out of names, apparently. So we're just putting random letters together now. No beheadings for today. Fall to dissonance. Eyes alert, wits sharp. They will see the unseen.
is free. A symphony in stasis. Well Their done. Will I will check on the others. All right, one more to turn in. That one didn't chain into anything. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we have quite a little entourage formed up. Maltraxus honors you. Do not forsake your allies. The wonders of Zeratus. This is it, mortal. The forces you have assembled should be enough to break through the Maul Sworn and reach the crypts. Getting inside, however, will require more effort. The Maul Sworn have barricaded the entrance. Kabata will carry you into battle, eliminate the Maul Sworn, and destroy the devices that power the barrier. Are we going to do a vehicle quest? Oh, of course we're doing a vehicle quest. Why would I get out of this without a vehicle quest? Oh, God. For any of you guys who haven't been around the channel long, I hate vehicle quests. Uh, they're the thing I hate the most in WoW. Yeah, okay, cool. Yes! It is time to strike back at the Maul Sworn. This is all great. Why can't I just play my class, though? I really love to just play my class. Are we trying to do anything specific? Oh, we have to defeat enough to fill this to fill the bar. That's depressing. Ugh. Yeah, I don't really know like what direction we're heading or should be heading or anything like that, so... Where's the battle taking place at? Didn't we store him in with a bunch of dudes and now it's just kind of us wandering around the sands, kind of just taking out one guy at a time? Like, what's that about? What is that about? Can I just pull everybody? Can I do that? Is that going to be okay? No? Yes? Maybe? Yeah, I'd love to just get this over with quickly. Now is our chance. Kabato can destroy the barrier at the entrance to the crypt. Of course he can. Wait, what is this thing? Are we not destroying this? Destroy with twin beams. Okay, we got one. Let's go over and get the other. Please tell me we can get out of this thing now. Oh. I want out. Thank you. Go. We will hold the line while you explore the crypts. Mhm. Mm I will clean. By the first ones, I never dreamed I would see this place with my own eyes. Mortis holds much to discover. Can you hear? Creation calls. Can you hear it? Yet darkness lingers below, taints the ancient melody. To forge anew, peace must be restored. The walker must walk and protect. You know, <clears throat> to do what must be done, a walker must walk. The walker must walk. It's profound. The walker must walk. Oh god, if I hear walker, ma walker, any of this crap ever again after this expansion, I'm going to throw up in my shirt and crush it into my chest and then go somewhere and cry for a long time. Because it is sickening. Because it is sickening. The crypts defile. All right, the crypts are defiled. It says we have a turn in here, but we're waiting on her. The writers must really like writing quests for these guys because they they. 
even more than normal, they don't have to write anything sensible. They basically just write word word salad, and then they think that that's good if it's voice acted like in a voice that sounds like this. Essences of the ancient souls tampered with. They bleed from each room. The halls must be restored. The flow of souls redirected. Yeah, I just want her to give all of her quests in haiku. That way we really know what's going on. Darkness spreads dissonance throughout these halls. Moss worn drain life from the air and give only suffering in return. This must not be. Like now we're getting kill quests from like an ancient first one's oracle. Align the spheres. Only then can harmony. Those must be the spheres. Try pushing them into place. Are they spheres, Pelagos? Thanks, man. I would never have thought these were the spheres. Wow, I'm so glad we brought you with us. What would we do without you, bro? Those must be the spheres. Okay, great. Freaking enlightening. Any other insights, man? You have sealed your fate. I doubt it. By logging in, maybe. Yeah, that's true. You think you have won? Mm. I don't. I've given up on that dream. Uh, are we supposed to like connect to other places here, or what exactly? You are too late. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go through the different doors from the main chamber. It looks like. That's going to get tedious. Go touch the balls in each chamber. Oh, okay. Good, that's exciting. I want to go touch balls in every chamber I can, please. You have sealed your fate. Yeah, they sealed your voice lines after they recorded one. And then gave it to all of you. We don't have to push it or anything, we literally just click it and it goes where it has to go. There's no puzzle here or any anything like that. It's not immersion breaking to see two Pelagoses running around, not at all. Not at all, I say. where the Arbiter was made, then which came first? These souls or... Uh, so many questions. The chicken or the egg? Which came first? Oh no, big questions here in the Shadowlands. Big theological questions. Big brain theological questions. Uh, we still need another ball pushed in. <laughs> I, I think we gotta push some more balls around. Let's let's come down here. These souls can be used to create the arbiter, but can they become other beings as well? All right, let's see what's next for us here. I'm not gonna read any of that. Okay. The spheres are in place, a melody builds. Go bring forth the chorus of scryers that the cycle of rebirth may begin. Okay.
Okay, um, I just come over here to do that then. Perfect. Do you see the patterns? The fractals? We shall soon witness the purpose of these sacred halls. I can scarcely believe it. I wish I was even half as excited as you, man. New Arbiter waits in the wings. That's cute. He waits in the wings. Because it's going to be someone who might have had wings once. Didn't get his wings, though. Never ascended. The rustle of creation. Whisper in the dark. We may begin. Yeah, definitely. The quest writers must have been like, Oh, thank God, we can just write gibberish? Oh, great. Just make it vaguely mean something? Okay, yeah, we can do vaguely meaning something. Good, good, good. It is time. The song shall bring new life. Let's begin the ritual, please. So you want us to click is what you're saying. Yeah, we, we can click. Is interfering with the ritual. Long have we awaited this moment. The banished one's gambit made manifest. A world soul twisted by death. Oh, that was Argus. With which to crush the Arbiter. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're revealing to us that it was Ar Argus's soul that went to the maw, that went through the Arbiter, and, and broke the Arbiter. So that's cool that we're finally like getting that confirmed, I guess, in game. Argus draws energy from that soul conduit. Ma Walker, you must destroy it. Okay, kill the ads, got it. Yeah, so when we defeated Argus and Legion, it was all a part of the big brain plan that his uh, soul would then go through the Arbiter, and because it was a Titan soul, I don't really know why it would have ever went to the Arbiter, because Titans are supposed to return to their plane of origin, similar to the way that old gods do. But in their, their, in their wisdom, they're now saying that uh, Argus' soul went through the Arbiter, and that was what broke uh, the Arbiter. And that's why we now have this to contend with, I guess. Can I stand in this, please? Can I hit him a little bit? Thank you. Uh, listen, as I say, you give me a conduit, I will destroy it, but yeah, I did, this one just popped up, so... Chill. Sucks not to be able to hit him for certain phases of the fights. Like, I'd love to be in there right now, but... This is an unnecessarily long fight, if you ask me.
It is over, buddy. Sorry you got corrupted and used in a big brain plot that lasted tens of thousands of years. What happened? A pause devoid of breath, a melody lingers on. The cycle awaits a voice. You are unsure what Caesarea means. Oh, are we? Are we unsure of what she means? Speaking in word salad? Oh, okay. Perhaps you should try to set up the ritual again, starting with the vessels and scr- No, I don't want to do that again. Can we not do all that again? Okay, it's it's not the same. Examine the vessel. So we'll, let's go click on all the things. What is she talking about? So plan A isn't going to work. Riddles. We need answers. What's our next plan, Warwalker? Don't ask us, man. It's all there gibberish to us, too. Another answer. I do not wish to say it, but it seems we have failed, my friend. Without the Arbiter to stem the flow of souls to the Maw, the Shadowlands will never be fully repaired. This cannot be the end. Surely you can think of something. When have we ever been good at thinking about things? Tell me, tell me that. Maw Walker, friend, do not blame yourself. Oh my god, she finally called us friend. I just wish there were some way. There is a way. All right, Pelagos, lay it on me. Pelagos, what do you mean? In service to the Shadowlands, I offer my soul. What? No! I have yet to ascend, Clea. Perhaps there was a reason for it. But your soul! You do not have to do this. I know. This is my choice, sister. My purpose. I do not want to let you go. Our souls are bound as one. We will never be apart. A new voice. Freely offer a worthy soul, pure and unburdened. If we had spent time with these characters, this might have meant something. Become clear. I must take my place in Oribos. Go in service, brother of my heart. We will meet you there. Farewell, my friends. The pattern is made whole. We return and continue. All right, well, there we go. We have a new Arbiter. And yeah, that scene would have probably been really impactful had we spent any amount of time really with these two characters recently. A new voice added to the chorus. The cycle continues ever onward. This song has been completed and the harmony has been restored, yet, Z yet Zareth Mortis remains haunted by discord. 
Dissonance lingers still outside these walls. We must leave before it finds us. Speak with the one you call Farim, he will open the way. I'm so close to understanding. Oh. How may I serve you? Our purpose Uh, is firstly, you could, like, face us while we're talking to you. That'd be fine. Uh, I don't want any of these. I really hate what they did with the quest gear. They just give you these pieces of gear that have different little effects on it, and I don't care about any of the effects, and they all look the same, I think, so... Yeah, they all look exactly the same. Thanks for giving me stuff I don't need. I'll, I'll take the belt, though. That'd be nice. May I share a word with you, my friend? I think so. I must confess, at first I thought Pelagos was making a horrible sacrifice, but now I see. He was giving the Shadowlands all the hope and compassion he holds in his heart. We should go and see him. Whatever Pelagos, after so long, he has ascended higher than us all. Yeah, like, if you were Kyrian, then you have probably a little bit of an attachment to Pelagos uh, and Kelia, because, you know, they're your soulbinds. Then again, we... It's not like we hang out with them a lot and get to know them that much, even as a Kyrian. And if you're not a Kyrian, you probably, like, you feel about Pelagos and Kelia, probably how I feel about, like, the random guys from Revendreth and the randos from the other, from the other orders. Uh, you don't care about them at all, so then him becoming the Arbiter probably feels a little bit weird. And it probably then feels like there's no payoff for your Covenant, except seeing the extras when we assemble the army and do generic things like that. So, yeah. I mean, first hug in-game in Warcraft in 16 years, and it was wasted on Pelagos and Kelia. Could have been a good moment had they worked on it. Uh, and given them, those characters, time to breathe, but of course, they didn't, because they don't. Uh, where are we going here? What are we doing? We need to find the... There's a portal somewhere, right? That we can hop through to get the Ouroboros? Pretty sure. It's over here. Like, when I thought of Soulbinds originally, having those characters, I thought they would treat them the way Star Wars The Old Republic treated its side characters that you recruited. Where, like, you'd recruit them, and then they had, you know, story quests you can do for them that evolved your relationships with them over time. Forging an actual bond that might exist between two characters in a world. Uh, and they didn't do any of that stuff, so... It's hard to really give a crap about any of the characters that were introduced in this expansion. Tell Adrestes, I am sorry, I could not become an acolyte. Somehow, I think he will understand. Mawwalker! Mawwalker! <laughs> Can't we just I cut the Mawwalker shit out? My path. Just say my friend. Now I can direct Jesus. the flow of souls to the afterlives they justly deserve. Yet one goal remains before us. To truly restore balance to the Shadowlands. The Jailer must be defeated. I have faith that the Maw Walker and their allies will succeed. Go in service, friends. Oribos and all the Shadowlands are counting on you. How idiotic is it that the Jailer can be defeated before you ever play this part of the story campaign because of the way it's time-gated when the modes of the raid that you can beat him in are not? How stupid is that? It's pretty stupid. 
Pelagos is right, but if anyone can accomplish what is needed, I believe it is you, my friend. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's been a long road. Hey, we got our... Our belt, so that's good. Divine Resonance. After casting Divine Toll, you instantly cast Judgment every five seconds. That's actually kind of cool. So, uh, we'll take it. Looks simple enough. Let us return to Zareth Mortis. Oh god, but we just got here. You should report back to Bolvar and tell him of what we have accomplished. We may have achieved this victory, but there's much still to be done. Okay, I'll go back. Not sure why I don't just have my hearth set in Haven, uh, but I don't. A new Arbiter has been established, this is excellent news, and a massive step towards restoring the balance of the Shadowlands. Your efforts here will not be forgotten. However, it is only one step towards our goal. We must continue to strengthen our position in Zareth Mortis and drive the Jailer's forces out. Our work continues, but with you on our side, victory is much closer. The balance uh, and guys, that's it for this week. We are caught up. It looks like we... I mean, we're done, right? That's it. Is that it? They said there was going to be an epilogue chapter. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get the epilogue chapter next week. Or if we're not going to get the epilogue chapter until the point five patch. Kind of hoping we get it next week, but there's not even a name of it listed here. So that's kind of making me think we're going to have to wait till the point five patch. Which, when we think about their release cycle recently, God, we could be six or seven months away from a .5 patch. So yeah, uh, we'll be back again soon with a capital S and a TM after it to do, hopefully, a good epilogue patch. Things that would need to be cinched up, well, we need to kind of be given an idea of what the next threat is going to be. We need to wrap maybe some faction stuff up with Anduin and with Sylvanas and all those, you know, all the Azeroth characters that we all care about, right? Uh, and then we have to get home. So I'm kind of hoping that the epilogue chapters will be many, like just maybe make it an hour or two of just wrapping up all those loose ends and getting us back to Azeroth and out of this place forever would be really good for me. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate all the support. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in World of Warcraft somewhere, sometime, very soon. Bye now.